Hi folks, uh, here I am in a hotel at a undisclosed location because I'm still traveling on business and I had to make an impromptu video because well only like 500 people have asked me what I have thought about the new news about uh, Zahn being canon and uh, Timothy Zahn writing a new book. Um, I believe this came out during celebrations and uh, well, I mean, I've talked about this before, I, several times. I know I've talked about it several times in the podcast, Prince of the Universe, and I've already given my thoughts on it. Well, now that it's really happened. Uh, see, first off, remember, uh, some of you watch the, uh, or listen to the podcast, I, I, I kind of thought it would, you know, with uh, Filoni uh, making all the comments on Twitter, you know, sometimes legends are real, and then all the rumors about Timmy Vizan. And I always said, and I still say this, uh, folks, remember, if you're, and for those who are excited, good. Good, I'm, I'm glad you're happy that Thrawn, or a, a Thrawn character, will be canon. It won't be the Thrawn from Legends. Uh, remember, just like uh, Voss uh, is different. A lot of people were upset. You know, when they read Dark Disciple, they went, wait, that's not Voss. I mean, even John Ostrander goes, wow, that they didn't really do him any justice from what he was back in, you know, the old Dark Horse comic book days. But, remember, it was a new character. Same name, but they had to give him a new character. Now, Timothy Zahn is, of course, making this character a lot different. We're seeing a different Thrawn. Now, he's going to still love art. Uh, he's still going to be a genius. Remember, this is like, what, 10 years before Episode 4? And he's already a Grand Admiral. So, all this happened before Star Wars. In fact, probably Grand Admiral Thrawn will, will die again before Episode 4. Um, so, it's a new story. So anyone wanting to read this, and then they get upset that this isn't their character from the old EU. Well, don't be surprised, because remember, they're going to take him in name. They're going to give him some of the same characteristics, but he's going to be completely different from the old one. And that's fine. Now, me personally, just like I've always said, I'm not a fan of them mixing characters. Remember, the whole reason they said they were going to get rid of the Expanded Universe was to give the writers more creative freedom. And as of yet, I have yet to see that creative freedom. I mean, to be honest, if, you know, Chewbacca being alive and switch some names of some, you know, Solo and Skywalker kids, and Episode 7 fits perfectly within the old canon. So they really haven't done that much to deviate from the old Expanding Universe. Now, it is true, the old Expanding Universe had tons of great stories. I mean, that's why they lifted the entire Legacy of the Jedi as the plotline for Episode 7, right? It's a good story. Um, and I was kind of surprised by that. I was like, wow, they didn't go with their own story. They went with one from the EU, which, you know, is kind of a compliment. But at the same time, I was like, well, I thought they got rid of it so they could be more creative. Uh, bringing Voss back, bringing Thrawn back, that's not being more creative. But remember, as always, Disney owns the rights to everything, even the legend stuff. So why wouldn't they, you know, rip and pick and choose what they want and throw in their new canon? And, and to be honest, folks, they, are, they have all the good intentions of making Legends fans happy. Hear me out here. Um, We've been asking for Legends, right? Give us more Legends. Bring back Legends. And a lot of people on the billboard you know, thought, oh, that's nice, but we're never going to make it canon. Well, that's not what we wanted. And now I think there's even been some more confusion about this because they're, they're, they're hearing us, but they're not listening. There's a difference here. Um, they hear, there's a lot of people who just love those characters. They love Thrawn. They love Voss. They loved all this stuff. They love the storylines. So let's incorporate those into the new canon. And then those fans will be silent and they will like us as well. I mean, honestly, I really believe all good intentions are made over this. And now we're in a catch-22, right? Uh, there, for those of you who are just happy about this news, uh, really congratulations. Good for you. But do not complain when it's not the same Admiral Thrawn. When you find that out, you're wait, that's not Admiral Thrawn. It is in the new one. This is a new Admiral Thrawn you'll be seeing. Uh, and then for those who are like, I can't believe they're doing this. They're ripping off everything. They're going to ruin Thrawn. Okay, well then don't read it like me. I'm not going to panic about this because I'm not going to read the new stuff, okay? I don't care what, how they change Thrawn, you know? It's not going to impact me. So don't let it impact you. And, and don't go into reading his book looking that you're going to hate it or rip it apart. 
Um, if you're going to read it, go in there with an open mind, I would say. Uh, but here's the part where we it gets kind of tricky because we have to say thank you, but no thank you. Uh, thank you for doing this. That's really kind of you to include an EU character so beloved. And we hope that you give us more stories of him in the Legends canon as well. I mean, that's kind of how we got to be because right now it's kind of weird, right? Because we've been asking for Legends, 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 and they misunderstood us and they've been putting all this legend stuff into the new canon going, see, isn't that what you want? No, it's not. <laughs> you know, but I, you know what? Hey, thank you. They're trying. They're trying at least. They just need to listen. Like a lot of you know, on the billboard, uh, a lot of employees, Leland Chi actually, never looked at the website. He just assumed that Bring Back Legends, oh, they want to make that can again. Well, that's not going to happen. He didn't even go to the website and find it out for himself what they really, what we really wanted. And there's a few new news outlets that did that too. As you remember, I confronted a few and said, I don't think you guys went to the website. Sure enough, there was an apology update on the news article afterwards, which I appreciated because they didn't do their homework. But you didn't even check the website to check the story? I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's bad journalism, I think. Either way, though, um, so what do I think about it? I mean, that's fine. I would rather they create new characters for the new canon, but hey, you know what? As always, Disney owns the rights, and it won't impact me or upset me because I'm not reading the new stuff anyway. Uh, now, for other things, uh, Chuck Wendig's new book, Life Debt, came out. And I'm going to show you an example of what happens when you leave a false review on Amazon. See, this guy tried to give it five stars, but unfortunately Amazon caught on to him that he personally knows the author. And so they blocked or deleted, I guess, his biased, very biased review. Uh, now, that's kind of funny because you know I did a video, uh, what was it, last year? about how it's so weird that all these people give it five stars even though they haven't read it yet or they didn't say much about it or it wasn't a verified purchase. I actually took this to Amazon. Amazon acknowledged uh, that they had an issue with that and they were going to fix it. And it looks like Amazon is doing that good for Amazon. Now, before you say, aha, yeah, there's people giving those fake five-star reviews again. Okay, well, I don't want to see any fake one-star reviews either. Uh, if you don't care for the new books, don't go online and give it one star if you haven't read it. Uh, and if you are going to read it, go in there with an open mind. Don't if, if you read it and you're really hoping to be good and it's garbage, go ahead and make your, make your negative review. That is all you. But if you're buying it for the sheer purpose, because I know people do this, they go, you know what, I'm going to find everything that's wrong with that book. And, so they, and I'm sure there's a billion things wrong with that book. I mean, I heard that it promotes Ewok slavery, which I am against. Anyway, am I going to go online I'm going to give this book one star review? No. Now, if I read it with the intention of just breaking it apart, which what a lot of people want me to do with the new canon books, a lot of you say, Matt, we'd love you to read the new canon and tell us what's wrong with it. Oh, I could tell you a billion things what's wrong with it. But you know what? Anyone can do that to any book. Honestly, you look at Zon's Heir to the Empire trilogy. I could rip it to shreds. In fact, a very, very, very early book, uh, early video I did uh, years ago, I actually do kind of dog lovingly on Heir to the Empire, the one that everyone thinks is the best EU book ever. And I go, yeah, you had a clone whose name was Luke with two U's. So there are some bad parts, uh, of course, in any book. And if you nitpick through, anything can suck, okay? except for Lord of the Rings because I think it's perfect, but of course, that's just me. But don't go in there, you know, if you're going to read this book, don't go in there thinking, okay, I'm ready to tear this apart because I know there's a billion things you can hate uh, about that book, but that goes for any book. Give an honest review, whether it's five stars, whether it's one star, but watch out for those biased reviews because Amazon is going to shut you down. Also, finally, there was a rumor going around that they were stopping the reprint of Legends books, and I don't think that's true if you look at this uh, post by Jennifer Heddle uh, denying that rumor, saying no, they're always going to go in print, which I would agree. I don't see why not. As long as they're selling, folks, as long as they're selling Legends books, they're going to continue to print them, guaranteed. Uh, the publishing industry today needs as much money as they can get. And if you are buying Legends books, they will continue to print them. That's why I say it's always good 
uh, to, uh, to buy Legends books, which is a video for another day. All right, folks, I gotta get back to work. It's a busy day. I got plenty of places to go see. I will see you later.